Hello, friends. I am Ginny. I'm a life coach. I use a lot of EFT tapping in my practice. And today I'm going to share a brief five to 10 minute tap on the topic of abundance. We'll be just taking a quick look at what are your blocks. We'll take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Notice what comes up for you when you think about what is blocking my abundance. It's going to be different for each one of us. Even abundance is different for each one of us. So whatever abundance is to you at this moment in time, notice it, own it. And notice what comes up around the question, can I have it? Can I have abundance? And then we'll tap as I lead you. So I will go through each point. I'll say something and then I'll leave a space for you to repeat after me. So you can go ahead and tap while I'm tapping and then repeat my statement while you tap. And then we'll go to the next point and the next point and so forth. So starting on the side of the hand, you can tap with the fingers or you can tap both hands together. Take a deep inhale and exhale and really notice what's coming up for you when you think about what's blocking your abundance. Can you have it? What emotion that you would perceive to be negative or heavy is most coming up for you? There's probably a lot of emotions coming up. Which one is most prevalent? And rate it on a scale of zero to 10. Zero being, yeah, I, I have it, but I'm not feeling emotional about it. 10 being, this is as much emotion as I could have around it. Perhaps jot that down if you want to hold on to that information. But we're just tapping for a few minutes, so you can try to remember it if you want. Take an inhale and exhale and repeat after me. What is blocking my abundance? What is blocking my abundance? I accept that I am where I am. I am precisely where I need to be. Shake out the hands. Bring your fingers to the space between the eyebrow and the bridge of the nose. With these points that are on the face and the torso, you can do both sides of the body or just one. Abundance. Side of eye. Blocks. Under the eye. Blocks. Nose. Blocks. Chin. What's blocking my abundance? Collarbone, what's blocking me from having what I wish to have? Other people's opinions, other people's beliefs, my age, I'm too young, I'm too old. I compare myself to others. I can't go faster than my peers. I can't have more than my parents. I can't have less than my peers. I can't have less than my parents. It's coming up. Allow it to come up. Allow yourself to feel it as we tap on these very specific acupoints. The next one is under the arm. It's about four or five inches under the armpit. What is blocking me? Top of the head, it's right in the center of the top of the head. If that's a sensitive place for you, you can tap in the field or make little circles. I'm open to the possibility. Eyebrow, that I might begin to release. side of eye, the things that are blocking me. 
under the eye, I might begin to release under the nose, the negative emotions. Chin, the guilt, the shame, the blame. We could do a whole hour on guilt and shame and blame if we had more time. All around, I'm open to the possibility that I might release what's blocking me from what I wish to have. What I wish to have is precisely what I wish to have. I don't need to apologize or compare myself or feel shame. I'm open to the possibility that I might evolve my emotion around these blocks. I might let that emotion transform into something more empowering. And I might allow that to be a very gentle transition. Just right for me. Just right for me. Take your left hand, place it over the heart shock. Take the right hand. We're going to tap just for a moment on the space between the fourth and fifth fingers, about an inch down. There's a little soft spot. Releasing blocks. Allowing it to be gentle. Allowing it to be just what I need. Stop tapping, place the second hand on top of the first. Close your eyes if you'd like. Notice that emotion that you rated before we started on a scale of zero to 10. Has it evolved? Is it a different number now? If it went down and you're in a good place, it's the perfect place to stop. If it went down, but it didn't go down as much as you know you would like it to, you could do another round. You could use this recording again, or you could use your own words. Open your eyes if you have them closed. Take one more nice deep inhale and exhale. Thanks for joining. Namaste.